In this video, I'd like to take a first look at the Toolbox. It's a control surface with knobs and buttons designed to speed up your workflows in creative applications like Final Cut Pro and Adobe apps like Premiere Pro, Lightroom, and Photoshop. It's billed as the ultimate controller for creators. Let's see how it works. Included in the nicely packaged Toolbox box are a quick start guide, the Toolbox itself, and a heavy-duty braided USB-C to A cable. These come in drawstring bags as well. The tour box itself feels pleasantly heavy and sturdy. It definitely won't go sliding around on your desk. Its surface has a smooth, soft feel, which is a nice contrast to the buttons, knobs, and sliders, and makes them easy to find without looking. Depending on which is your dominant hand, it's designed to go side by side with a mouse. Each controller on the Toolbox has its own name. As a controller, Toolbox can essentially work in any application, with existing controls set up in their software for creative apps. I'll download the Toolbox console software from their website and install it. In the software, the top left column is the presets list. If you turn on Auto Switch, it will switch presets when you switch apps. I don't see presets for Final Cut Pro, DaVinci Resolve, or After Effects preloaded, but we can download these by clicking Create New Preset. You can create your own here, or simply download a user-submitted preset from the Toolbox website by clicking Get More Presets. It will launch the website, and you can download preset files. Load them up in the Toolbox console by clicking the Import Presets button. On the right are the preset settings. They are grouped by the button groups. Clicking or turning things on the Toolbox will jump right to that setting, as well as light it up on the Toolbox image to the left in the layout area. Finally, there is a HUD overlay that you can have on screen, shown by the sample HUD here. I'll do more in-depth videos on how Toolbox works in specific applications, but let's take a quick look at Premiere Pro, which came preloaded. You can see the HUD is active. This can be moved around on screen. It shows the four D-pad buttons. If you click other buttons on the Toolbox, the HUD will update showing you the combination commands with that button and the D-pad buttons. I found it good to go through the Toolbox console pressing buttons first to see how they laid out the keyboard shortcuts. Then I started editing. I figured out pretty quickly when there was something I do often that wasn't on the Toolbox buttons but that's really easy to fix back in the console application. I really like what I've seen from Toolbox so far. In upcoming videos, I'll dive in how to use Toolbox in specific video apps like Final Cut Pro, Premiere Pro and After Effects, and DaVinci Resolve. FX Factory offers a huge selection of great effects. And if you don't have them yet, I suggest you go try them out at fxfactory.com. Subscribe to this channel for more great videos every week.